Hello and what is up everyone? Welcome back to another live cast. I'm back with the second semi-final series of ESL1 Hamburg 2017. It is Team Secret versus Team Liquid. Best of three elimination match from this tournament. Again, this tournament does have a single elimination format. The loser is out. There is no loser's bracket. The winner goes to the grand finals to face off against Virtus Pro. We're quite a bit underway here on the draft. We're seeing the Brood first ban here. Team Secret don't want to mess around. They saw that Liquid were prepared to pick up the Brood in the first phase and they don't want to mess with this Brood Mother pick. It's super annoying, changes the way you have to draft, changes the way you have to play the game, and they just don't want to deal with it. And they actually let the IO through. Both teams do play IO. We see Yapser pick it up most recently in this tournament, but it's actually going to be ignored by both teams so far. And at this point, I don't think it's going to be picked up by either team. But the Lich also got through because of these kind of targeted bans from either team here. Uh, Liquid actually banning out Rubik in the first phase. Signature hero of Yapsor as well as Spirit Breaker, a hero of that Team you Secret you really, really love. Hero, they will pick that hero left. first phase, no problem here. Yeah, addition to Team now. Secret also taking out uh, GH's. Earthshaker in the first phase, so they're letting these cancer heroes through. This is, uh, I think, these teams rather play up against these cancer heroes than um, some of these signature heroes on either side. So you see, Venomancer's through, Lich is through, Necrophos is through, Night Stalker also got through. That heroes also tend to be banned out in the first phase. So we're actually going to get to see the true cancer prevail here in this matchup against team secret and liquid as 7.06 is coming to a close might as well give them a last hurrah don't ban them out let's see the necrophos let's see the venomancer let's see how they play out here uh, one thing to note as well is hero, team secret did ban on. out the chen um or not uh, you, team secret you, you team liquid did ban out the that's... chen signature for team secret at this point of course i mean puppies that was signature hero since ti1 and in the dota one days and they're making it work they're showing how strong the hero can be in this patch but we're not going to get to see that in this game uh, we're gonna get to see a lich though exciting dota uh, i'm sure to come but one thing that team liquid did get is matama man's or matama man, mind controls nature's profit uh, Metal Man most likely would be paying the Necrophos. It's almost a guarantee at this point. Regar regardless of the lane, um, he's going to be on that hero. Miracle, I mean, he does play Necrophos, but again, I think Kuroki, or I forgot who it was, said it themselves that Miracle wants a different uh, hero every game. So they're going to pick some unique hero here for Miracle in the last pick. We don't know what that is yet. Team Secret thinks it's a Bloodseeker, but I mean, it could be anything. And they're taking the time to think about this last ban here. Yeah, Team Secret have mid one's signature Ember Spirit. They got the Venomancer, which most likely will be played by Ace. Or, but the thing is, they can still switch it up, right? This Venomancer can go off lane. This Doom will be playing the four position support, and they can pick one of Ace's like Cancer or like niche heroes, like the um, Arc Warden. I don't think it would be that bad this game. And Team Secret or, th or Team Liquid are thinking about it. I mean, they're thinking of all the potential picks coming out for Ace. And he's the Meepo player as well. He plays Arc Warden. He's also the Brood player, but Brood is banned out in this matchup here uh, in the first phase by Secret. So they're going to actually burn through all of their reserve time to figure out this last ban, and they will decide on banning the Meepo. But now with the Meepo banned, they might be facing off against Arc Warden here. And. I think that's what they're thinking about. Do we want to go against Arc Warden or do we want to go against a potential Meepo? And again, it could be enti something entirely different or he could just be playing the Venomancer. So we don't know oh, what this Secret's last pick is going to be. It actually could be anything. And they do have the 20th yeah, pick th th of... Or the, I mean, 10th pick, I guess. Or 20th pick if you count the bands or whatever. I you can't. Re it's not really a pick. I'm not making much sense, much sense here, but uh, they do have the last pick, so I'm trying to say. And it will be a Miracle Invoker signature hero for him, and this is already looking to be a hype matchup. We have multiple players on signature heroes. We got the, I mean, I guess you can consider Necrophos a Matama Man signature for the amount of times he's played it at uh, TI. You and really even leading up to these uh, tournaments, especially at ESL. I'm not sure how many times he actually played it here, Phantom. but hey, it's not going to be an Arc Warden. It will be a Phantom Lancer for Ace. A counter 
to an invoker uh, i think they had to pick some type of hero that counters invoker as they don't really have an answer to him right now i mean they have the doom but it's not the easiest time getting the doom on him as he's mostly playing pretty far back he has long range on a lot of his spells especially once he gets to the late game um, i mean like ember spirit doom can deal with him in the early game uh, early to mid game but once invoker gets to late game they need that hero like the phantom lancer that can get on top of him and take him out so it will be an offlane venomancer for fada we're going to see midwan and his signature ember spear i think he has the best stats on this hero and i mean secret make it work it always seems impactful even in that game against eg where he was like feeding at some point i mean he was just creating space for his team let's say that and they were able to come back with the magnus pick and you didn't notice the magnus was banned out by team liquid so the drafting phase is complete and we're gonna head into game one soon with team liquid and team secret matching up here in the second semifinals of esl1 hamburg 2017 we got the signature mushroom hat for mind control TI flashbacks here, potentially for Secret as they were knocked out by Liquid at TI. And they might get knocked out here at the first major of the season. And we'll see what happens as we're entering the versus screen here and heading into the game shortly. So I think in terms of who actually came ahead of this draft, I'd say it's fairly even. They matched up evenly all the way through the draft, and they're both very evenly matched, both in the laning stage and in the late game. So it's all gonna come down to play, I'd say, in this game. The thing is, this Venomancer might be a potential weak lane for Liquid if they decide to lane it properly. I think he doesn't have a very good matchup against NP or the Necrophos, for the matter. Um, especially with supports rotating in. So Fado will actually have a pretty rough lane, and if he can survive and come back, um, I think Secret will be fine. And they do have a Lich helping out in the laning phase, so that can definitely mitigate some weakness that uh, Secret might feel. But with the PL picked up for Ace, they're actually going to send him to the mid lane, and mid one will actually go safely in Ember Spirit. Let's see Yapsor. Nice value point there, and Devour being able to eat these tree ants get that on a cooldown get that extra gold it's pretty nice you can do that a mind control coming in with the second set of tree ants here looking to invade and maybe steal this bounty rune but i don't know if it's possible again lich doesn't have any spells level one and there's four tree ants coming in mid one does have the poor man's yep so has to be careful though he's very low armor doesn't want to tank too much damage from the tree ants and with the boots he walks away but because of that Liquid will be able to steal the rune onto mind control, so they stack themselves up three runes here. So it will be a full 1v1 matchup right now. Uh, Fada versus this Necrophos, played by Matama Man. But I think this is the ideal matchup that he wants to play. Just straight 1v1, doesn't want to mess around with supports. Uh, and once Silencer shows up in this top lane, it will be a different story, but Silencer was just helping out mid a little bit here. Uh, Maybe potentially thinking of warding, as he does have one ward still here. Uh, Secret did get a ward down over here, which will spot out Kuroki's rotation. They didn't block the small camp, so he'll be able to go for some stack and pulse. Mid one doesn't match up that well against the Nature's Prophet level one, because again, he does buy the poor man's, but he's still very low armor on this Ember, so he's taking a ton of harass and can't even show up to the Waven CS, so still zero CS onto him. What is going on here? What was that pull? Some weird pulling happening. Uh, into this big camp. We got two creep waves, pretty much. And the neutral creeps fighting up. Some interesting behavior happening in this bottom lane. Some creep aggro. But I don't think it's going to favor anybody. So they're able to farm up pretty much all the creeps there anyway. But mid one gets himself stuck in the trees trying to buy the calling blade. Beach is going to block him in. Be able to do some more harass on him, but Puppy's now going to be able to mitigate the low armor problem on the mid one by leveling up the level 2 ice armor. But Puppy maybe in a little bit of trouble himself here. He only has one tangle left after using that one. And they're diving with a pretty big creep wave under this tower. And it's very hard for mid one to fight here with the whole enemy creep wave and some tree ants. 
joining the fray as well. We didn't see the TPN coming in from the tum or mind control on the top lane to get this kill onto Fada. He's one more auto attack. The Sunstrike coming in from Miracle as well, and he will connect, securing himself first blood. A big kill there for Miracle. And they're not even going to lose anything in the bottom lane as the experience that is used, that will be missed by the Anxious Prophet will be picked up by GH. Mind Control will make the trek back to the bottom lane. And there I said, Fada not going to have the greatest time in this top lane. He's receiving some help from Yapsur, but uh, with the potential global TP coming in from Nature's Prophet and the global uh, Sunstrike, definitely will die a lot if he overplays himself in this top lane, so he's to be very cautious. And once Necro gets a bit of an advantage, it's very hard for the Venom to lane up because it doesn't matter how much damage over time, how much DOT he does, if Necrophos just heals it all back up with the Death Pulse. And Yapsir, going with a bit of a wrap around. My Control snipes the Courier in the base, we see him there, he's actually going to deny himself to the Fountain. They'll still feed the gold away. But it'll allow him to get back into lane a bit faster, so I think that's worth it. But in the top lane, Japster's rotation did pay off, and they get a kill there onto Matama Man. And the thing is, Venno with help against Necro, uh, the favor swings the other way, right? So with the Gale, he'll be able to do a lot of magic damage to Necro, and it doesn't matter if he posts Ghost Shroud, if he doesn't have the magic wand charges up, uh, he won't be able to heal himself, and then they can go for the kill like that, as you saw. And as for the mid lane, it seems like Miracle is going fairly even with Ace for now. But he did get a DD rune, so he's going to dominate the lane for a bit here, as well as getting that first blood. And he's just going to deny Ace under the tower here. As well as dishing a lot of damage here between him and his uh, Fort Spirit. Mind Control makes his way back to the bottom lane. He has a lot of gold, but pretty low experience. Uh, it's mostly as a result of his rotations out of the lane and his glitch as well, denying all the range creeps. And once Mind Control, or mid one, gets a level advantage over Mind Control, um, it's going to be a rough game, especially once he hits level 6. But we're going to look to go for the rotation here to kill Mind Control instead. They get the Treant blocked off, and Miracle secures himself another Sunstrike kill. Puppy will be able to TP away, they don't have the Void to cancel it. And he actually TPs in the mid lane. Ace had to go back to base and TV mid as well. He needed to pick up some items as the courier was taken out by mind control. And Liquid looking like they're in tip top shape right now. The only deaths that they've had so far is, uh, I mean, one on mind control in the fountain and one on Matoma Man. But I say Matoma Man is playing the most sacrificial role in this game. Um, it's really both mind control and Matoma Man actually. It's all Miracle. Now they're going to focus everything around Miracle as long as Miracle is having a good game. They're going to be fine with it. And they're going to go for another gank here on the bottom lane onto mid one. He gets the sleight of fist off, but they will be able to chase him down. They're getting a lot done with this first night time onto this night stalker. And that's another plus two in for Kuroki. And the TP comes in from Yaps or he pops his uh, scorched earth. But the Sunstrike comes out from Miracle. It connects another kill from Miracle, a killing spree. And there's just disaster in this bottom lane for Secret. They're TPing one at a time and feeding more and more in to Kuroki. That's 8 in for him now. And that's additional kills for Miracle. He is 3 and 0 without having to leave his lane. Looking pretty good in terms of CS as well. Right up there even with Ace. And I don't know if Ace is going to come online fast enough to deal with Miracle. He's having such a good game. If you check the nerd net worth right now, he's way ahead of anybody. About a thousand ahead of Ace right now, which is a lot considering it's only six minutes in. Ace trying to pick up the rune, but it's actually denied by the Force Spirit. Miracle with the Force Spirit directly on top of the rune. Ace couldn't pick it up in time. That was a big play there from him. And on the bottom lane, Fada has to play very careful here. He's only level four, and they're just camping him here with GH as well as Kuroki. We see a smoke rotation coming in from Puppy as well as Yap, so they will run into the GH, but he's very hard to take out. This is moving very fast during this nighttime. And they will come in with Kuroki as well. He gets the silence off, but immediate TP can come out of him. They don't have the ability to stun him. Infernal Blade was still on cooldown. GH should fly over the trees here. Again, the courier gets sniped by mind control. 
Liquid are just looking like they're in their comfort zone right now. They're in the zone, and I don't know what Secret can do here. Um, this early game is looking disastrous, and with Miracle having such a good game, um, usually it's like Miracle having a bad Invoker game, and then he comes back miraculously. But this game, he's destroying the mid lane. He's 4,000 net worth, almost 2,000 net worth ahead of PL at this point. Level 8 is going to have a super fast Midas, and he's very happy with how this game is going. For mind control, he's got two courier snipes already. And Matoman's also been pretty much free farming. He's second net worth in the game. He's not that far behind Miracle. Mid one did rotate to the top lane, but he will have to back himself away as he sees Night Stalker makes his rotation in. And Secret actually don't feel safe in any lane at this point. Even the mid lane, uh, Ace doesn't very uh, feel very safe against Miracle. I feel like any time he can come in with a nice combo, Night Stalker comes in, gets the silence off, and he just dies. So he's going to resort to jungling these Ancients. It's very slow, but allow him to get at least some farm. Nighttime will end soon, though, so that, that will relieve a lot of pressure on Seeker. And they're making sure they're playing safe. So they did feed a couple of kills during nighttime, but it was nothing that critical. But they still are at quite a disadvantage because of these Courier's Knights, because of these kills. But Fada will be able to farm up relatively safely now in the bottom lane. Again, Nature's Prophet, fairly decent matchup against the Veno early, but with all these wards, he's going to be able to hold off the push coming out from Mind Control. Croaky having a pretty good game himself here with already 8 int stolen. And now it's going to be the daytime for Team Secret, so I'm going to feel a lot safer being able to farm out the waves again. Yapsor is looking pretty good in terms of his levels though. He's almost going to have his level 6 and once Doom comes out they can look for a uh, gank, some type of smoke rotation maybe. GH with the daytime hitting is going to go back in the jungle and both teams are going to use this time to farm up. Mid one, we'll be going for the boots of travel build and Courier is still dead which is annoying for everybody but Miracle will pick up a 9 minute Midas, not the fastest Midas in the world but still fairly good. Ace now will be feeling a lot more confident pushing out the mid wave like this with nighttime being over. He's gonna send a lance into GH as a form of harass. GH is gonna return with a void, but we see the rotation coming in from mind control. And they set up the sun strike with the sprout. It's gonna be another kill for Miracle. He's on a dominating streak. Now this is the perfect game for Liquid so far. I mean I think everything has gone the way they wanted it to. And they're actually going to rotate the tumble man to the bottom lane here to stop this push coming in from mid one. But he's actually just going to cut the creep waves here. He does have the remnant available to get himself out of danger. He might have to use it soon as the tumble man is coming in. And he actually can't even finish off the creep wave before he has to back. He will get his wound this time around. But he gets trapped up in a sprout. Will easily double ganger away. He has a shrine available as well to heal himself up so he doesn't have to use his bottle charges. And they did go for a lane swap. Well, not really a lane swap. But they're leaving the safe lane for Kuroki, but unfortunately, it's going to mean that he will die to so this game coming from Yapsor. But mid one, or mind control, TPs in and gets the kill there on two Fada. And I'm mixing up all these names with M's. There's Miracle, there's mid one, there's Matama Man, mind control, too many M's. Speaking of mid one, he actually goes down bottom lane, solo kill from a Tumble Man because he went for the Dagian rush. And that's how comfortable Liquid are feeling in this game. He's not going for a Veil, he's not going for a Hood or anything like that. He's just went for Treads Dagon and it allowed him to get a solo kill there onto mid one. I was not expecting that and mid one didn't expect that either. Normally you look at Necro and you're like, oh, you're not really killing Ember. He has his Flame Guard, but with the Dagon it was enough damage and with Reaper Scythe Mid one is also dead for quite a while, and they're gonna take this opportunity to shove in this bottom lane, do some damage to this tier one. Jh will pop his ultimate just to, I mean, scare Secret a little bit, reduce their vision. Um, it's also right before the next nighttime is gonna hit, so he's not gonna waste any nighttime duration. So my or my tumble man will finish up the bottom tower. Miracle still farming up. He'll have one component of his eggs already. He didn't even have to use his salve there. He's just going to sell it. 
Ace was trying to go for some split push on the top lane, but he's not able to do too much damage to the tower at this point. Barely took it down at all. And GH farming up. I mean, he's been farming up for like the past couple minutes now. He's trying to catch up and farm. We'll actually complete a full medallion. Holy crap. That's a pretty fast medallion for a four position Night Stalker. And I mean, he's been getting a lot of assist gold as well as a lot of time to farm up during that full daytime period, pretty much. And now. Liquid will smoke up. Secret scan does come out and they see the smoke coming. Yaps are here to break it. And Kuroki drops the ward. He does spot Yaps are. They're going to send a nice Dark Illusion in to just scout out. Puppies here as well. Does have the Chain Frost available. Nice armor used on the mid tower, but I don't think it's enough to defend this push as the Treants are coming in. Yaps are moves forward just to eat a creep. Mid one is here. Doesn't have any item up, really. But he's level 9, so. He has his high level spells up, he can do a fair bit of damage in the team fight, but they don't want to contest. They're going to let the tower go, and in the meantime though, Ace did take out the top tower. So finally they take out that tier 1 top, but that's the least important tower for Liquid. They're totally fine with letting the tower go. It's that mid tower, and it's the bottom tower. That's the important towers for them, and they've kept them very healthy so far. Now, Matumba Man, he won't be buying more Dagon. Instead, he's just leaving on Dagon 1. He will be going back for a pipe. So again, there is a lot of magic damage on the side of Secret with his Lich and Ember Spear, as well as Venomancer. I mean, Doom as well. Even though his ultimate is pure, the Scorched Earth is magical, as well as Infernal Blade. Venomancer setting up some wards to defend the bottom lane. Puppy is here with the ice armor as well, but it just seems at this point Secret is trying to stem the bleeding as they're trying to buy time for Ace to get this defusal. Once he gets that, they can try to look for fights, but even then, it's not going to be easy. So Matal Man is almost hitting level 12. I mean, sure, the defusal can remove the Ghost Shroud, but it's not like that's the problem anyway. They have the magic damage to deal with them. The problem is this global science coming out. He gets the Reaper Scythe off Dagon and so on, and then they just remove someone before the fight even starts. And then Miracle, of course, during this whole time can contribute with Sunstrike, but he's always, he's like a ticking time bomb for Secret right now. And they have to be feeling the pressure, but they just don't have any place that they can make right now. They have the Doom, they have the Chain Frost, but they just, how are they going to start a fight? Secret has occupied their jungle. They have some decent wards out, it was dewarded, but when Tom Man comes in here with the Haze Rune, the Reaper Scythe, the Dagon, he takes out Fada. and in addition to not having the proper vision take fights, Secret is just uh, playing against Night Stalker, keep that in mind, and two global heroes. He always feels so choked out when that's the case, and the only one that's getting a lot of space on the map right now is Ace, and he's been able to farm this top lane for a while, but... Doesn't look like Liquid are that worried about him for now. Oh, geez, he wanted to TP in here, maybe look for a kill on the Yapser, but he's a bit too tanky oh, with the drums. As well as the ice armor on him. And they're starting to ping out the top lane. You realize that Ace has been up here for too long and they're looking for a potential gank onto him. Oh, GH already with the wrap around here. And if he can catch out the silence onto Ace, they might be able to take him out. They just need the sprout and the sunstrike afterwards. They get the silence, the sunstrike connects. And do they have enough damage before you can get the doppelganger away? Nope, they do not as he gets away with about 100 HP. The Chain Frost is bounced through. It's actually going to hit back onto GH. But Matoma Man comes in from the back line, finishes off Ace with the Dagon. They trade one for one, but I would say that's worth it for Liquid. They get the kill that they wanted. They lose GH for it, but he's a support. And that's a big play there from Matoma Man coming in. Unexpectedly, finishing off Ace. Mid one will get a kill there onto Kuroki. Not that big of a deal, but he got a ton of gold for that. And that's just showing how far ahead Liquid is. Just at the 16 minute mark, 380 gold for a support kill. Mid one will have to be building into the Yule Scepter to deal with the silences from both Silencer as well as the Night Stalker. And there's probably an Orc. Yep, yeah. alright, as I say that, Mind Control has just picked it up. So an Orchid as well coming out from this nature's prophet so this uh Yule scepter on mid one is incredibly important and as well as this mantis style uh, needs to come out on the pl as you see there they definitely have kill potential onto him if he gets caught off guard with the silence really long duration silence during the night time but it is daytime right now so he's feeling safe to go back to the top lane 
Phantom Man setting up shop in the bottom lane. Maybe looking for another kill here onto mid one. He waits for the Flame Guard to expire. He has to catch him by surprise. And he's gonna go in for this one. They commit the global silence. There's the Dagon. The Sunstrike misses, but it doesn't matter. He still has enough damage with the Death Pulse, and he finishes off mid one for another. Not really solo kill. Well, technically solo kill. Technically not because they used the global. They did use the Sunstrike. Sunstrike didn't connect, so I guess it was a two hero contribution there for that kill. GH though, already behind the tower as Puppy was trying to walk up the ice armor and he gets himself caught out. Another Sunstrike miss from Miracle. Pretty surprising. GH actually flies into Secrets at base, alright. But in the meantime though, my control on the Tumble Man working on the tower. Ace though, gonna try to do some pushing of his own in the top lane. He will have his defusal complete now. And Miracle though, he's also online. He has the Agnums and almost a boots of travel. Level 15 as well. He's just been farming up this whole time. This is how Invoker works as a hero. And he's really valuing all the space that his team is giving him. And it will be nighttime soon cool. in about two minutes. Mm -hmm. What is Secret's answer to this nighttime coming out soon from Team Liquid? I mean, they have everything they need to fight, and you can definitely guarantee it aligns with the next Global Science as well. That's coming up in 60 seconds, so we like to see potential gank from Secret or er, Liquid into Secret, and from there they can go into Roshan and get that Aegis. The thing is, though, Liquid don't have the greatest high ground breaching lineup in the world. Um, Necrolite, I mean, he can definitely siege, but it's a lot slower. For example, Liquid would pick other heroes from a Tumble Man along with their Invoker, like the Life Stealer, and that makes breaching high ground a lot easier. But I feel like Liquid is so far ahead right now. If they get the Aegis, they definitely can look to go high ground. But mid one, catching out Matama Man here, but with the Pipe of Insight, I mean, there's no chance that he's gonna get the kill, and he actually just runs away. GH though, using this daytime period to continue to farm up, he's actually going to go for the uh, Force Staff, which will help a lot, especially against things like the Chain Frost, help Kite as well uh, from the Venomancer if he gets the slow off. And it's not a very common build on Night Stalker, but I don't think it's bad this game. Normally, his uh, item here would be the Pipe, but since Matel Man has already built it, uh, he doesn't have to worry about that. There will be a DD rune spawning in the top lane, which means that they might look to use that towards Roshan, but they don't have the best Roshan lineup in the world. Uh, it's actually getting denied there by Fada's Serpent Ward, and Fada actually went into a Midas. He's looking to just scale this game, so it just seems like Secret's game plan right now is just get to the late game. Hope they can deal with Invoker's, or Miracle's Invoker, and uh, they're just stalling. And they have the decent lineup to stall. Again, uh, Liquid don't have the greatest pushing lineup in the world, so uh, they're still going to take the game slow for now. And Secret are looking healthy in terms of towers, but they're not looking good in terms of taking towers, as they've only taken one tower so far, and their map is still very choked out. The good thing is they do have decent split pushers in the PL and Ember, very hard to kill, so they're able to still get farm very aggressively on the map, even though they're losing, uh, they lost their towers very early on. So finally, Liquid will group up with Miracle. They're gonna take this tier 1 top. Night time gonna be popped by GH. And I don't think they're gonna look for a gank. I think they just want to secure this tier 2. Ice Armor comes out from Kuroki. I don't know if uh, Secret wants to contest this or not. They're sending Ace back, but with mid 1 TPing to the bottom lane to push out this wave against Anisha's Prophet, I think they just want to stall. Uh, they definitely don't want to commit. But they don't want to allow Liquid to get the tower for absolute free either. Just want to just slow this push down as much as they can. Constantly pulling the creep wave back and spamming Serpent Wards. The Absor hiding in the trees. He's ready to make an initiation. He has the Blink Dagger. He gets a nice Doom onto Miracle Armor Tell Man. They might be able to fight. The mid one is also showing up here behind the trees. Liquid don't have vision of this other than this ward right here, but they will see him now as he moves forward. Nice ward here, placed right in front of the tower. We'll give them full vision of what Secret are trying to do, and they realize that they probably should back. If the Doom comes out, they're definitely gonna 
Oh no, they're gonna fake back as they back and smoke immediately. And they run right back at Liquid. Now Yapser will reveal his positioning. He's no longer hiding in the trees, so he's not gonna be able to get a Doom by surprise. And they're actually gonna catch Fada by surprise. He didn't expect this one coming. He forced us, but he doesn't get away. And he will go down. The Chain Frost bounces through. It will be disjointed. And Yapser goes in with the Doom onto Miracle. They're diving deep for him, but the Force Staff gets him away. And the Force Staff from GH showing his value there. Miracle juking around. And the Doom will expire soon. He's gonna be able to cast his abilities. Oh, my control barely manages to survive. Miracle is back. He's getting kills now with the Alacrity. Lutano comes out, does not hit onto Ace. And we want to chase for this one. Sunstrike comes out, does not connect onto mid one. But Mind Control is here though with the silence. He cleans up the kill and he's going to try to look for more. Ace is doing a ton of damage though. Nick, oh no, he manages to live. Definitely Blast needed to be evaded there by Ace. He's running for his life. And the Dagon comes out, Puppy's dead, he's all the way next to his tier 3, but that's not going to stop Liquid at this point. TP out from Atome, he gets out as well, that's two heroes that TP out on a sliver of HP. Miracle's already expended all his mana, he just wants to take this tower and back, and big plays there from Liquid with the fake back. I believe Toby calls that the Rock's Kiss, and... Liquid, they take an amazing Double fight. They take damage. the tier two, and they're gonna cement a 13k net worth advantage here at the 22 minute mark. Yapsor yeah, got the blink doom there onto Miracle, but they were able to kite using the force staff from GH, got Miracle away from mid one, saved his life. He was able to come back, clean up the fight, and now Liquid looking towards Roshan. Mind control going for Link gets here. Not a very common build on Nature's Prophet, but fairly good this game. Pop it onto a teammate as well to help them against Doom. And Secret know that this Roshan is happening, but they're currently spotted out by a ward. Whoops, puppy misclick there. Start channeling a TP. But they're gonna send some PL illusions here into the Rosh pit. We will scout it out. And again, I don't think Liquid meant to commit to Roshan there. They just want to maybe bait Secret into a position with their ward taken out. They no longer have the vision advantage other than the one given to them by this Night Stalker. So they're going to resume split pushing. My control TPs the bottom lane. They use a scan because they think that someone might be comp camping him as they actually don't have any vision onto Secret anymore. So he'll play the safe play and go back to base. Uh, at this point, Liquid pretty far ahead at this point, um, and they don't have an answer to Miracle. He's going to go for Lickens here soon. It's going to be a lot harder to Doom him. We'll pretty much have it complete after this creep camp. And does Doom have a way to get rid of the Lincolns right now? He does not actually. He actually went for the Critical Strike aura, as well as the Pack Leader's aura from, or Critical Strike and Pack Leader's aura from the uh, Wolf Creep. He's just camping mid one right now in case mid one gets jumped by anybody. It's just safe play there from Secret right now. Covering their heroes and making sure they can get as much farm as they can. Again, if they can hold off Rosh, I say they have a good chance of selling out the game for longer. But if Liquid get Rosh, they're definitely going to run into some big problems. Because getting Aegis against Doom is incredibly crucial. Because again, you only can Doom once and it's on a super long cooldown. If you have an Aegis, you don't really care if that one hero gets doomed. So you can play a lot differently than you would without an Aegis. They're also starting to stack up on these Lincoln Spheres and it's going to give Yapsor some problems as well. So this Doom will be soon phased out of the game. And from there, I don't know There's if Ace no is farmed enough. Attack to fight against all these Liquid heroes. I'm sure he's a top network and he's keeping even with Liquid's cores, but he's the only one keeping even. Mid one and uh, Fada are still a bit behind. We're gonna see a smoke coming out here from Liquid. Scan does come out from Secret, but it doesn't hit onto Liquid, so they don't know where Liquid is. And Ace actually will Doppelganger forward and they still have vision from this ward where they were fighting previously to get the Reaper Sight. The Sunstrike connects as well and that's a huge kill for Liquid and they're right in position to push in the top lane as well. Perfectly timed smoke. Secret kind of knew something was up but Ace was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He was spotted out by that ward. 
Unfortunately, Kroki couldn't get his ward immediately deboarded there, but GH going aggressively onto the high ground. Force Staff will on to disengage. Ace does have buyback, so they have to be still careful, but they're going to go with the split push play. Mind Control heading to the bottom lane, the rest on the top lane. It is splitting Secret's attention. Not only is Ace still dead, they are split apart. Daytime will hit and the Doom connects onto Matumba Man. Buyback comes out from Ace. They're going to try to focus Matumba Man down. They should be able to kill him here. Ace comes in. He wants to clean up mid one with a lot of damage here from the Remnants. His illusion is starting to do damage. Miracle is falling. He tries to TP away and he does not get out. The Infernal Blade will cancel the TP. GH will escape with his life. And in the bottom lane, though, Mind Control did take out the tier 3, but he might pay for it with his life as mid one as well as Puppy have arrived. They get the chain frost off. It bounces onto the creep wave, but creep wave is cleared out now. They don't have disable anymore. The silence comes out. He can't cancel with the searing chains, and Mind Control will make a great escape. Not very good for Liquid there. Pretty good high ground hold there for Secret. Did have to commit the buyback. So if Ace dies again, they will be in a lot of trouble. And this shot is incredibly important. But I don't know if they can take it in time. Again, it's still daytime. So they have an advantage for a little bit. But it's turning night in about 40 seconds. And Ace actually just can't rush. He can't tank it, so they'll have to back away. They won't be able to claim Roshan, and this is still opening up a play for Liquid to take it themselves, as Doom will still be on the cooldown for another 70. We're going to see a fight break out. They're actually going to get a kill onto Kuroki as well as GH. Two big kills there, and they're going to be able to push into the mid tower as well. Finally, take out this tier 1 mid. Liquid are starting to fall apart a little bit here. They're looking so comfortable in laning stage, and after that, just that one buyback from Ace catching them off guard. Secret are looking to be able to maybe come back into this game. Miracle though comes in. He's going to get a solo kill. There is no chance for Puppy to survive that one. They got a lot of gold for that as well. It one comes in though with the Arcane Rune, the DD as well. And he's building for Radiance as his next item. Went for the defensive Yules, but he'll go right back into Radiance. Help him farm up, dish out some additional damage. Ace, that buyback did hurt him a lot. Slowed down his Manta style by quite a bit, but he will have it complete now. A Tumma Man, what item is he going now? It will be a Shiva's Guard. One way to deal with the PL. Normally, then Volker uh, tends to buy Shiva, but instead he's just going to go for BKB this game. Because the PL is a bit of a problem for him at this point. Even if the PL's net worth uh, is not quite up to par with his. And so he could pick the PL specifically to deal with Miracles and Volker here. You saw it here, he's able to dish a ton of damage out. Got all his illusions spread everywhere. Definitely shut down Liquid there. But he did have to commit a buyback for that. So it's still going to be on cooldown for another five minutes. So still very tense situation for Secret. While well, Liquid is chilling out a little bit. They've lost a lot of their net worth advantage actually, like about like 5k. But they're still ahead by 8k. Again, this game is still Liquid favored, I would say, but since Secret uh, managed to take that fight top, definitely even things out a little bit. But I, it all really comes down to this next Rosh fight. That's, I mean, it's always looming as neither team really want to go for it directly. Um, and they're just looking for any opportunity to get this Aegis. And I think the Aegis is more important on Liquid uh, than it is on Secret. I think Secret is happy just denying it from Liquid. So. They're gonna go for the smoke gank right now. Searing chains will actually miss on the combo man. Remnant forward misses as well. Kuroki moves to the side. They will find mind control now. Forced forward by Gapsor actually. Mind control gets caught out, but the pipe saves his life. Reaper side comes out onto Gapsor. Now there's no doom to the fight. Chain Frost only bounces twice, and this mana burn from PL quite annoying, but. Everyone's gonna get back. They should be able to shrine. They even have this shrine active and secret will TP out as the split push pressure is coming in from Miracle and someone has to be back here. Otherwise, Miracle is just gonna take a Rax by himself. He's actually gonna send his Force Spirit forward to work on the range. Tornado will send mid one into the air and the range taking a fair bit of damage here. This is unhealable damage. In the meantime though, GH clearing the Rosh Pit of these Plague Wards and Kuroki looking to just Finish off this shrine. Very ballsy move from him here as Ace will actually come in. Gets the 
spirit or, uh, phantom rush off and we'll actually get a soul kill there onto Kuroki. Got a ton of gold there as well. 444 gold for Kuroki. But, I mean, got the shrine. Space created. He didn't have his ultimate anyway, so it's not like he was that important. I mean, Kuroki is actually just his ultimate at this point, and he'll be an ultimate and a four staff later on. He's an ultimate, a four staff, and an additional silence. A little bit of slow as well. And in steel, of course. Miracle does have his BKB complete now. This is going to give him the ability to take team fights without having to worry too much about this PL burning all of his mana pool. As well as the magic damage coming out from Enomancer. He's still going to have to worry about the Doom. But with the Lincoln Sphere, it's not that easy for Yapster to get the Doom on him. He's still holding on to the Pack Leader's Aura. Not going for any type of creep to break the Lincolns. Instead, he's going to rely on the Force Staff to do so. They're going to get the catch on to mid one here. Really nice read for Scythe. Doom does get used on to Matoma Man, but he's healing up quite a bit. He still manages to survive because of that pipe, and he stayed alive till now. Puppy falls. They're going to chase forward onto GH, but he's just going to man up. They want to take out Ace. Again, he did previously use his buyback and is still down actually for another two minutes. And Ace will get out, however, the Tome Man comes back in with the Dagon. He survived the Doom. He's going to heal up from the Ghost Shroud as well as Death Pulse Regen as well. And Liquid again take another great fight. Fortunately for Secret though, Ace did survive. And as for Liquid Dota right now, Miracle is an absolute beast. I mean, they perfectly secured his lane in the lane stage. He's only died once there in the top lane with the buyback coming from Ace. And now Liquid can head into Roshan. We know the ultimates were expended from Secret. No Doom, no Venom ultimate, and no Lich ultimate either. So this will be Roshan going to Liquid. And I don't know if Ace even know or uh, if secret even know of course the only heroes alive that can oh, try to contest at all is ace and again he doesn't want to die again he does have buyback in one minute and that's not soon enough nature's prophet bounces through that's going to reveal the sword here most likely but liquid looking to go for the juggler right now they're have the aegis onto metoma man actually they're not really worried about miracle dying so, we're going to have Metal Man frontline this push into the mid lane tower. Ice Armor will help a lot in delaying these pushes. But, of course, Liquid can go for the split push play. They're already looking to do that right now as they're drawing lines down every single lane. Ace is pushing out the bottom lane right now. And Kroki is here as well just to place a war to get some extra vision if NP comes in. We see a little bit of lag here in the top lane. Miracle is sending his fourth troops on the range to get that unhealable damage off. Silence does connect onto Ember Spirit, so he needs to be very cautious. He does complete his radiance now. And in secret, they can defend their high ground. It's just at what cost? They used to the Reaper Scythe onto an illusion? Oh. That's a really long cooldown, actually. Seeker just gets. <laughs> nice bait there. I think oh, I believe it was a PL illusion. So now without a Reaper Scythe, uh, Liquid probably won't feel comfortable with going high ground anymore. Did take out the tier two tower in the mid lane, but we have to wait a little bit, another 60 seconds or so. Mind control pushes out the bottom lane. Though he does have a hex as well as the Orchid up, so a lot of uh, potential disable coming out for him. And there's like no BKBs or anything for secrets so they have to be pretty careful they have ways to remove the silence but once a hex comes out uh, they don't really have an answer to it and we can see a hex into like a reaper sunstrike thing and you know oh you guys can see it here hex used silence used as well onto ember they're gonna follow up with another silence but he does get the yules off sunstrike should connect it will actually perfectly time the global he doesn't get the remnant away and they will get a kill here no mid one gets a sleight of fist he's still remnants out they didn't quite have enough damage and he will narrowly escape that now global silence committed they don't manage to get the kill there onto mid one miracle though still looking to farm up he's about to reach that six slotted invoker level 25 status he needs like one more create wave of experience and he'll get that uh level 25 talent 
most likely the tornado cooldown as that's pretty much the preferred talent for most invokers now. Oh, we're gonna see a fight here as GH gets caught out, the chain frost gets used, puppies falling low, doesn't take down to the urn charge, but Tumble Man is in the fray. Keep in mind he does have the Aegis, Croak is getting caught out, he doesn't have the global, so he doesn't hit him too much anyway, and he actually will actually get out as he's able to TP back home. It was really close, but he does get away. The Tumble Man looks like he will lose his Aegis here, and they're gonna try to kill him again. They did use the Doom. I don't know if he can kill him twice, he gets the Reapers off. It's not quite enough to burst Venno, but Venno will end up dying to Mind Control's ultimate. The Tumble Man TP's back home, he's had enough of this fight, but he's decided to actually turn it as he sees everyone falling. Ace is the only hero alive along with mid one. And Liquid actually only lose one there, they lose the Aegis as well. But GH is the only casualty, somehow Kuroki survives. Miracle comes in, he actually will go AoE definitely in Blast's game, which actually, uh, that makes more sense because he is against a PL, uh, uh, ability is a lot better against the Phantom Lancer. And so Tumble Man survives there, he was thinking of TPing back home, but he realized he was healing up. He does have the Dagon 4 now, and now Liquid looking to push into the bottom lane, they know that two are dead on the side of Secret. And even if they come back, they won't have an ultimate, so they're looking to take their first lane of Rax here. Fortify comes out from Team Secret, but I think this Rax will fall. In the meantime, Miracle is split pushing top here as well, and they will have their attention split as someone has to come up here to deal with Miracle, as he'll just take this set of Rax by himself. But if they go top, Bottom lane will fall, so they kind of have to go for a trade. Like they have to give up one Rax here, and we will see the bottom range Rax fall. But Miracle is back in the top lane. He's just gonna pop his BKB to secure the Rax. He will TP out. There's no Doom to cancel, and he gets away safely. Bottom lane still half HP. This is healable damage though, as it is the melee. That was Miracle's uh, BKB committed there, but I definitely think it's worth it to get the melee top. And they're gonna push back into the bottom lane. Nice ward place here by Puppy. We'll give eyes onto Liquid if they hold this high ground area. But it is expiring soon, and Ace might be in trouble. He gets the doppelganger away. And Secret. Holding even for a long part of this game against Secret, even after a pretty disastrous laning phase. But now they're just looking like they're way too far behind. Um, I'm sure their heroes don't scale that poorly, but they're just not getting the space to farm. They're choked out in their base right now. The only hero that's able to leave really is Ace, and even then, it's starting to get questionable. I mean, he's fairly tanky with the heart build up on him now, but it just feels like a super difficult game for Secret. Um, Liquid can do anything they want pretty much. I mean, just look at my Tom, man. He's a dang in five. Kroki does have the global silence up once again. I don't think Liquid want to force anything. Thanks for Sean is coming up. Maybe four minutes or so. So I'm just gonna take it slow for now. They already top, took the top melee racks and they continue to choke Secret out. At the same time, Mind Control will probably buy his next item. And I don't know his next item was a Bloodthorn. And it's gonna be a lot of extra damage coming out. I see something like. Uh, Assault Curious for him. That would be nice for the extra rat. Increases everyone's damage as well and survivability. Miracle will be going for the refresher for the flashy plays. He's actually already purchased the refresher recipe. He actually will buy it out as he sells his Midas. So fully six slotted invoker and he doesn't even hold for buyback because they already have. Uh, not only the lanes pushed out at all times because of the nature's profit and their position in the game, but they all have their tier 2s and even a tier 1 up. So, even if Miracle dies without buyback, it's not the end of the world. They're not even going to lose a Rax, most likely. Regeneration. Kuroki gets himself up for regeneration. He's going for a refresher of his own for that double global silence. He will obviously mid one catch out GH here, but you will have to be careful as Mind Control did make the TP in. He does have that hex available. Mid one. And for the Shiva's guard, he was thinking for Lincoln's here a little bit, but decided to switch it up there with the Shiva's guard. Will help him dish out some extra fight in the team fight. A little bit more control as well with the Shiva's slow. 
Now Liquid, they're cooped up. They're looking to push into this bottom lane, but look at that TP coming in from mind control. They're also looking to rat at the same time. He's just gonna safely summon the tree ants, waiting in the trees. He might even just TP out right away. Oh, he's deciding to stick around as uh, Secret don't really have vision in these trees and he will claim the top range rats for his team. Secret are doing their best to delay this push coming out from Liquid in the bottom lane, but they're coming in with the catapult. They need to focus it down. But they will do that as they lack players that can use on it by Miracle. He's gonna drop the meteor here onto all these PL illusions to try to clear them out. And this will be a slow and steady siege here from Liquid. Again, they don't have the best sieging lineup, so at some point they will have to break out in the team fight. But their rat isn't bad. But there's only so much they can rat once the racks start falling and. There's only one or two racks left. Miracle. Besides so that, enough is enough. He's just gonna stop wasting his time in the bottom lane. TP mid clears out the creep wave. Uh, this is a sun strike onto the rune just to scout it out. Again, it is the 40 minute mark now, so there's a double rune spawn. So we might see a clutch DD rune or a cane rune coming in handy here, especially for a hero like Invoker. Smoke gank coming out from Secret. They know that Roshan is about to spawn and they will scout it out with the Meta Ward. They get the Doom out onto an Illusion. And a huge play there from Matumbo Man. That Illusion rune, the bottom rune, paying off. And now they're going to start a fight. Global Silence comes out. PL is committing some Illusions. Kuroki does survive. Nice sprout from Mind Control. And now Secret have to get back. They don't have a Doom anymore. They wasted there. Now Liquid can feel confident they just need to push out the lanes and then go for Roshan. And with that, they're going to feel real confident going high ground and closing out this game. GH has a Lotus Orb picked up. As for other recent item pickups, let's see. He just profits sitting on a lot of gold. And Ripple 6 slotted. We have a Lotus Orb on Vada as well. And he's scaled fairly well. Look at his net worth, he's up there, he's built a Midas and it's not looking half bad. Radiant Same thing can be said for Yapsor. It's liquid. Oh, They're going Let's for the rat play. Here, Miracle as well as a bunch of tree ants. Hitting onto this bottom or melee racks. Wolf force the rotation coming in from mind control. Meteors is gonna get dropped into the creep wave. Miracle is just super annoying right now with his spell usage. Rax falls very low. Miracle might even consider popping his BKB here just to finish it off. He needs the alacrity and he will just run in. Doesn't even need the BKB. He will just back away as mid one was forced back to heal into the fountain. He uses the opportunity to finish off the Rax and now only one set of Rax left for secret. Mind control farming up some neutrals here. I wonder what his next item will be. He hasn't yet decided himself either and it will be an assault curse. I'll call that one. We have a gem now on GH. He's scouting out. Runs into Yaps or just fakes back a couple times there. Bit of a cheeky play there. And mid one comes forward. Gets his searing chains onto Matama Man. Yaps or comes in. Initiates onto Kuroki. An ideal target I would say. But he doesn't have a global up quite yet. They're chasing forward. Even deeper for GH, they want that gem and they will take it. GH falls. In the meantime, though, we've got some rats. Mind control showing in the mid lane. He's in trouble, though. He doesn't have a BKB. Immediate hex there onto mid one. And since no other hero had a way to cancel TP, he gets away with the teleport scroll. Mid or Miracle does get doomed, but he doesn't care. They don't have the damage output to deal with him. He popped the BKB off. Before the doom came out so he's able to tank up a lot and they actually were afraid to continue chasing ace is fairly low mana and they're just gonna back off again doom wasted and now liquid they can look to go to Roshan they can look to push and they have so many plays available to them and they still have the global science they also get back their gem here I think wait did they even lose it in the first place Who died who would have picked up the gem and I actually don't know we see another fight break out here. Miracle did use his uh, BKB previously, but I'm a little fresher. So, get yeah, another BKB there. He's able to TP away so they don't have any cancel through BKB. And his BKB will be 5 seconds now because of that. But 
feel like that's enough. The only thing he really has to be that worried about is just getting jumped, right? If he can just survive the initial burst, um, he doesn't really have to have that long of a duration of his BKB because he just needs that little bit of extra space for him to uh, run away and cast his spells from the long range. Liquid comes in, they will take out Roshan here very quickly. Secret have no way of contesting there. And GH moves forward very aggressively here with no fear in the world. He has the gem available. He gets himself caught out. The force staff helps him disengage. He even sends the spirit lance right back at the Phantom Lancer. Mind control. Just dealing with the lanes. Catapult wave is coming in. This is the 45 minute catapults. What actually happened to the catapult wave? I guess they died. Never mind. But in the mid lane, we're seeing some action. As mid one comes in, just create some space. Again, Secret only have one set of racks left. I don't know how they actually hold here. Um, it's gonna have to be a miracle. As they're playing against a miracle on Volcard. He's gone to the late game. He's 9, 1, and 8. And I mean, the rest of Liquid are incredibly farmed as well. They're just going to go for a smoke right in front of Secret Space. They're feeling it right now. They know they're very close to closing out this game. And it all comes down to one last fight. Mid one, Remnants forward. He sees the opportunity to maybe take out Gage, but he gets himself caught in the Reaper Scythe. The Yule is most saving for now. Sunstrike, though, comes down. Deafening Blast, very well timed there by Miracle. They're going to move forward. They take out Yapsor as well. He doesn't get an opportunity to use his Doom. And they're going to look for more. Miracle pops his BKB. I believe he has a refresher available. Yeah, there it is. There's the Invoker combos. The Meteor comes out. They refresh the Deafening Blast. The buyback comes out. But I think it is all but over here. Matama Man is just manning up. He's healing up so much because of the kill that he got there on Tafata. He will get Gale now, but he does hold on to the Aegis, so he doesn't have to worry too much. In the meantime, though, Miracle and team taking out the Rax. That will be Mega Creep's claim. No buyback onto mid one. And look at that, the Sprout. Fada dies back. Another kill for Miracle. Deafening Blast comes out. GG will be called by Puppy. And Liquid takes game one against Team Secret off the back of a Miracle Invoker. Last pick, Miracle and Volker came out. Liquid were all in their comfort heroes pretty much. At least all their three cores. And you can consider GH Night Stalker a uh, comfort hero for him as well. As he's played it quite a bit. As a lot of times Earth Shaker, his coddle, gets banned out. Kuroki, I mean, he did his job on Silencer. He casted his Global Silence. And really good drafting there from Liquid. Because Team Seeker were so afraid of these heroes like the Chen. And, um... Earthshaker, it allowed them to get, I mean, the Cancer picks, right? They didn't care too much about the Venomancer. They're like, alright, you take the Venomancer secret. We're going to take the Necro second phase, actually. They took the Nature's Prophet first phase. Again, I think that Nature's Prophet matches up really well against Core Veno, so it forced Secret into putting the Veno as the off lane. And then it pretty much made it so they kind of lack initiation. You saw, like, Mid one trying to desperately start a fight there, but it ended up costing him as Reaper Scythe came out. He tried to use himself to save. But Sunstrike, very well timed from Miracle, Deafening Blast as well. My, or mid one died without buyback there, and from that point onward, it was an easy win for Liquid. They had the Aegis, they had the Cheese, they went in there, took the last set of racks, and claimed this game one victory against Team Secret. Team Secret, however, are not out of it. They have one more game, potentially, to prove themselves against Team Liquid. Can they get revenge? for what happened at TI or will the same thing repeat as Liquid will claim another victory knocking Secret out of this tournament and securing themselves a spot in the grand finals against Virtus Pro. We'll see as you guys hopefully join me back for game two and uh, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the casting so far and subscribe as well if you want to see more casting from me and i'll be doing other videos as well as guides patch analysis as the new patch comes out so see you all in the next one and we all have a good day some pretty exciting dota coming out right now at esl major first major of the season